Imagine a world where every operation meant enduring, excruciating pain. This was reality until one man, William T.G. Morton, revolutionized the medical field. Let's take a moment to appreciate the significance of Morton's contribution to medicine. Picture the scene. It's the mid-19th century, a time when the simplest of surgeries was a life-threatening ordeal. Patients were awake, aware, and in agony. But Morton, a dentist by profession, was about to change all that. In his quest to alleviate the pain of his patients, Morton began experimenting with ether, a colorless, highly volatile, and flammable liquid. He discovered that ether could induce a state of unconsciousness, allowing surgery to be performed without the patient feeling any pain. This was a monumental breakthrough. But a discovery alone wasn't enough. Morton understood that his findings needed to be demonstrated and accepted by the medical community. So on a brisk morning on October 16, 1846, Morton prepared to showcase his revolutionary technique. The stage was none other than the esteemed Massachusetts General Hospital. The patient was a young man, and the procedure was a tumor removal. As the audience of doctors watched with bated breath, Morton administered the ether. The patient fell into a peaceful slumber, oblivious to the operation about to take place. The surgery was a success, and the patient awoke with no memory of the pain. The room erupted in applause. It wasn't just a successful surgery, it was the first public demonstration of pain-free surgery. The world of medicine was forever changed. This pivotal moment marked a turning point, the dawn of a new era in medicine. From that day forth, pain during surgeries became a thing of the past. And it was all thanks to one man's relentless pursuit of a solution to a problem that had plagued humanity for centuries. So the next time you find yourself in a hospital, remember that the comfort and ease you experience is a legacy of William T.G. Morton's groundbreaking work. Imagine a world where every operation meant enduring excruciating pain. This was reality until one man, William T.G. Morton, revolutionized the medical field. This marked the dawn of a new era in medicine where pain during surgeries became a thing of the past. To appreciate the magnitude of Morton's contribution, we need to delve into his early life, long before he made medical history. Born in the year 1819, William Thomas Green Morton hailed from the humble town of Charlton, Massachusetts. The seventh of eight children, he grew up in a family where hard work was not just encouraged, but expected. From an early age, Morton showed signs of curiosity and a knack for learning. He attended local public schools where his thirst for knowledge was nurtured and allowed to flourish. However, the path to his destiny was not linear. In his late teens, Morton decided to pursue a career in dentistry, an interesting choice considering the primitive state of the profession. At the time, dentistry in the early 19th century was more of an art than a science, with practitioners relying on rudimentary tools and techniques that often caused more pain than relief to the patient. Despite these challenges, Morton was undeterred. He threw himself into his work, driven by a desire to alleviate the pain and discomfort experienced by his patients. He was not content to merely follow the established norms of his profession. Instead, he sought to innovate, to improve, to revolutionize. His insatiable curiosity led him to the Baltimore College of Dental Surgery, the first dental college in the world. Here, Morton honed his skills and expanded his knowledge, laying the foundation for his future contributions to the medical field. He was a dedicated student, ever eager to learn and grow. Morton's early career as a dentist was marked by a relentless pursuit of excellence. He viewed every challenge as an opportunity, every setback as a chance to learn. He was not just a dentist, he was an innovator, a visionary, a trailblazer. His dedication to his profession, his quest for knowledge, and his desire to improve the lives of his patients were the driving forces behind his groundbreaking work in the field of anesthesia. However, at this point in his life, Morton could hardly have imagined the impact he would have on the world of medicine. Little did he know his career as a dentist would be the stepping stone to his groundbreaking discovery. Morton's journey to his monumental discovery was not a smooth one, but it was driven by his deep desire to alleviate human suffering. As we delve into the path of discovery that Morton embarked upon, we find him crossing paths with a fellow pioneer in the world of science, Charles T. Jackson. Jackson was a chemist, a man of elements and compounds, and it was this collaboration that would be the catalyst to Morton's groundbreaking work. Together, Morton and Jackson began experimenting with nitrous oxide, 
Known commonly as laughing gas, it had been used recreationally and in small doses for minor surgical procedures. Morton, however, had a vision that this could be harnessed for more. It was during these experiments that the pair uncovered the potential for nitrous oxide to be used as an anesthetic, but it wasn't quite potent enough for the major surgeries Morton had in mind. Then came ether, a colorless volatile liquid. It had been known and used for centuries, but its anesthetic properties were yet to be fully realized. Morton saw the potential in this compound and began further experiments. Ether, he discovered, was more potent than nitrous oxide, and it had the ability to induce a state of unconsciousness, opening the door to pain-free major surgeries. The journey wasn't easy. There were setbacks, doubts, and criticisms. Some deemed it impossible, others dangerous, but Morton was undeterred. His vision was clear. His resolve, unyielding. He was driven not by fame or fortune, but by the deep-seated desire to alleviate the agonizing pain that was an inevitable part of surgical procedures. And through this relentless pursuit, Morton was able to transform the face of medicine forever. Morton's relentless pursuit of a solution to surgical pain led to his groundbreaking discovery of ether anesthesia. William T.G. Morton left an indelible mark on the medical field, changing the face of surgery forever. His discovery of anesthesia, the art of painless surgery, was nothing short of a revolution. Before Morton's breakthrough, surgeries were a brutal affair. Patients were held down, fully conscious, as surgeons performed their grim work as quickly as possible. It was a time when the surgeon's speed was valued more than his precision. But after Morton, everything changed. The discovery of ether anesthesia opened the door to more complex procedures. Surgeons could now take their time, increasing precision and vastly improving patient outcomes. The fear of pain no longer loomed over the operating table. A new era of medicine had dawned, an era of painless surgery, thanks to William T.G. Morton. However, Morton's journey wasn't without its share of struggles. He faced a tumultuous battle for recognition. His claim to the discovery of ether anesthesia was hotly contested. Other physicians, notably Horace Wells and Charles Jackson, claimed they had discovered anesthesia before Morton. The controversy raged on even beyond Morton's lifetime. It was a bitter dispute, one that saw Morton fighting not just for recognition, but for his place in history. And even amidst the controversy, Morton's contribution to medicine remains undeniable. His discovery has saved countless lives, alleviated immeasurable suffering, and paved the way for modern surgical practices. Today, we take the concept of painless surgery for granted, but it's thanks to pioneers like Morton that we have this luxury. The controversy may have cast a shadow over Morton's life, but it can't diminish his legacy. His discovery of anesthesia was a turning point in medical history. It was a beacon of hope in a time of dread, a promise of relief in a world of pain. His legacy is one of courage, perseverance, and above all, compassion. Despite the controversy, Morton's contribution to medicine remains undeniable, and his legacy continues to impact lives today. From a humble dentist to a medical trailblazer, William T.G. Morton's journey was nothing short of extraordinary. As we've seen, his path was filled with detours, trials, and triumphs, each step leading him closer to the discovery that would forever change the face of medicine. Born into modest circumstances, Morton's early life was marked by his insatiable curiosity and a fierce determination to rise above his circumstances. His pursuit of a better life led him to dentistry, a profession that, while respectable, was not initially his first choice. But it was in this field that Morton would make his most significant contribution to the world. After witnessing the agonizing pain patients endured during procedures, he took it upon himself to find a solution. His relentless experimentation led him to ether, a substance that, when inhaled, could render a person unconscious and insensible to pain. Morton's successful demonstration of ether's anesthetic properties in the Ether Dome of Massachusetts General Hospital in the 1840s marked the dawn of a new era in medicine, the era of pain-free surgery. From then on, surgeons no longer had to rush through procedures to minimize the patient's suffering. They could take their time, increasing the precision and success rates of surgeries. The world of medicine was forever transformed, and it all started with the determined efforts of one man, William T.G. Morton. Morton's legacy is still felt today, every time a patient is put under anesthesia for a surgical procedure. His discovery has saved countless lives, alleviated immeasurable suffering, and revolutionized the field of surgery. 
So next time you or a loved one undergoes surgery, remember the man who made painless procedures possible, William T.G. Morton. Subscribe for more content like this, share, and follow us.